Hi everyone, it's Roger here from what's on DisneyPlus.com. A quick news update for you guys on the success of the Acolyte so far. But before we go any further, make sure you do hit that subscribe button to keep up with the latest Disney Plus news. So earlier this week, Disney released the first two episodes of a brand new Star Wars series on Disney Plus, The Acolyte. So we've got these first two episodes. I really enjoyed them. Um, I've already seen the next two episodes. I can't wait to see the rest. I'm really enjoying this series so far. And it looks like a lot of other people have checked the show out because um, Disney has revealed that the first episode episode was watched 4.8 million times globally on the first day. Now this means it's the biggest premiere on Disney Plus of the year, um, though I will put a bit of a caveat on that in the fact that we haven't had a huge amount of releases to kind of compare it to. So, And also, Disney never releases this kind of information about day one. Normally it's like five days, four days, six days. They do them all over the place. It's very difficult to kind of compare show to show to show because one time they'll say it's five days, the next day it's six days. Now based on what we found out from this year already, we know that um, 3.8 million people tuned in for the premiere of the Kardashian season five across all of the different streaming services. So 4.8 for the Acolyte is already more than that and that was based on five days. Also um, with Shogun as well, that was over 9 million over the first six days. So we can definitely see the Acolyte is up there in terms of viewership. Um, but I think we're going to have to wait a little bit longer until we can compare it to other Star Wars shows. Depends whether or not Disney released the five day numbers. So we can actually compare it to like um, Ahsoka and see how that did. Because that was 14 million over those first five days. So it really depends how many people are going in and watching it over the weekend. Now there's a lot of buzz around this series. There's a lot of people talking about it. You just only have to look in the comments section. It's been trending online, etc. Um, however, the, all the feedback is not necessarily for the right reason. There's been a whole load of review bombing going on on Rotten Tomatoes because some people deem that this show is woke because it's got diversity in it and therefore it must be not very good. But that's I, I'm just ridiculous. But nevertheless, um, yeah, so this has been getting a lot of negative feedback. Some people aren't enjoying it which is normal, you know, you'd expect that with anything. What's going to be more interesting to see is whether or not the viewers come back next week and the week after and the week after that again. That's going to be the key thing that we need to look for is how generally premieres always do um, really good and then they might go up kind of at the end of the run if there's a lot of good talk about it. Like I said, I think the show's good, but obviously not everyone's going to like it. And also, especially now with Star Wars, is you've got fans from different generations all kind of having different views on what they like and what they don't like. And it's, as I said, you could give um, 100 people a quid and you're going to have some people moan that they wanted more. It's just the way people go. Um, but yeah, so unfortunately, there is a little bit of negativity around that at the minute. And yeah, Hollywood as a whole is having to deal with this. Now, whether or not that reflects on the full numbers and whether or not people ch check it out, we're just going to have to wait and see. It'll be a few weeks until we get the newest numbers to be able to compare it to other platforms. But let me know, are you enjoying the Acolyte? Have you watched it already? Let me know in the comments below. Go check us out over at whatsondisneyplus.com. Like, follow and subscribe. And I shall see you guys soon. Laters.